What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So right now I'm leaning up against my Fox body. Some of you guys have probably seen this thing. I mean, I've only really done like a video on it, I'm tripping over things, but I put the KA in the Fox body. It's literally just sitting in there right now. Uh, the motor mounts and stuff are all mounted up. I still gotta put a trans mount on it, but this thing has been sitting under a cover for a while. And I think it's time I finally show it some love, but it's a little bit different. I'm actually not going to be pulling this out right now to work on it. Um, that'll be probably this week. But the reason I'm showing you the Fox body is because of what I'm pulling out of another car to put in this car. Some of you guys have seen it in the background, wondering what I'm doing with it, all this kind of stuff, commenting about it, but I have this new edge Cobra here. It's a non supercharged four valve. I got it from a buddy of mine. Um, it was one of them things where I bought it, said he was gonna get the title, hasn't gotten the title yet. Either way, I got this thing for the rear. As some of you guys probably know, the Cobras from 99 to 04 came with the independent rear. So I'm taking this rear out for my Fox body. I know I'm gonna get some slack because I'm taking the IRS out of a Cobra and putting a straight axle in it. But let me remind you, I still don't have a title for this car. I don't know when I'm gonna get it, if I'm ever gonna get it. So either way, I'm going to get this out so that I can put it in my car just for more adjustments and all that good stuff. Cause like straight axle is cool and all, but like I wanna kinda get more into learning rear toe, learning rear grip, and just having that more adjustability. Um, these swaps are fairly simple. I had a buddy of mine do it in his car and it damn near mounts all the way up. You just gotta drill like one hole out a little bit to make the bolts fit better. Uh, but yeah, so, and also it has the independent rear exhaust, which I mean, these main pipes and stuff are gonna be cool, but I think what I'm going to do is have these pipes come in and then from this to one being that it is a four-cylinder car it's not going to be you know crazy i might get some like hks high flow or high power mufflers just to give it that different tone but still look like a mustang still have the exhaust tips and stuff like that so when people first see it they're like oh cool look a mustang blah 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 dual exhaust v8 then you start it up and it sounds like a 240. And eventually the car is gonna be boosted and all that kind of stuff. But for now, I, I'm just going to run it in a, get it running, put around in it, stuff like that, start working things out. But the goal for today is to get this rear out and put, I have a straight axle sitting over there, get that rear put in. Still have the control arms and all that for the straight axle. So I'm gonna get these janky wheels off of it. I'll probably, let my buddy run these so that he could use them as burners or whatever for his car. And yeah, so I'm gonna get these wheels off, which I'm just now realizing I have a wheel lock key and I don't think I have it in the car. So if I don't, I'm gonna have to <laughs> get that out of there somehow. So, but yeah, so this car, it's actually not in bad shape. Like it's apparently a rare color um this year specifically i think they only made like 500 in this green i don't know exactly what this green is somebody will comment i've read it on google i just don't remember all right well we got the wheels off i actually did find the wheel lock key in the car so i got the rear wheels off i actually went ahead and took the other wheel locks off the front so that when i go to take those off it's all good so all you really got to do is just take these bolts off here there's two here i'm going to go ahead and spray them so you got these two you got the shocks you got the front bolts here. And then I do believe there is a bolt somewhere else going up, but I could be wrong. But what I'm gonna do is spray all these bolts, spray the drive shaft bolts. And also I'm gonna spray this exhaust off. Or honestly, I'm probably, if the bolts don't come undone, I'm probably just gonna cut them. But I'm gonna get this exhaust off out the way and then move on to the next thing. So, but, if you can see more on how intricate all this stuff is, I mean, you got an upper control arm, lower control arm, tie rod, axles, all that stuff. And 
it's essentially just a 8.8, but they're different from like the Explorers and all that stuff. So I'll eventually get coilovers, but for now I'll probably just throw these in there. I don't know if the spring perches are in the same spot for independent rear or for straight axles. So we'll see. I believe they are because the lower control arm usually goes from here to here to the axle. So the spring might be okay. Not this one specifically. I'll put different ones in it, but put the springs in there, all that. So moving forward. Why would you go being difficult now? <laughs> I told you you got there. <laughs> yeah, we don't need that when we're going. No, yes, sir. Nice. Get it out of there. <laughs> yeah, well, we pretty much got everything out. We got the two bolts here, the two bolts that come from the bottom. I got the front uh, bolts that go through the frame and all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to wait to take the shocks off till I lower it down and uh, see if those will just drop out. But I think at this point, we're pretty much just got to take these out, bring it down, pop some more things and see what we forgot. <laughs> Big shit popping? Little yeah. Shit stopping. Exactly. It's probably going to be the little shit that stops us. Yep. <laughs> All right, well, let's load this down. All right, guys, so I got the rear out. It basically, like I said, it was just you got two bolts here, two bolts here on the same, on the other side as well. And then you have the front mounts that are on like straight axle cars. This is where the same spot is for the lower control arms. So you take this out, take those, well, eight. So it's four there and four there and then one here, one here. And then you undo the shocks, take the drive shaft off, undo the brake lines and stuff, and it basically just falls out. So as you can see, it's a little crusty, but what I wanna do is I wanna get all new bushings and stuff, cause I mean, they're not bad. Well, they, yeah, they are, they're bad. So I wanna get new bushings, probably some poly bushings and stuff and all that. And then coilovers, get some uh, sway bar in links, you know, cause these ones are pretty shot and kind of just go through it, get new brakes and all that kind of stuff. I do know that I think Scotty D or someone like that, I think they offer dual caliper plates. So what I basically want to do is get everything for this rear done and basically have it as a full drop in. So as soon as I'm done with this, I could throw it in the Fox body and then be done with it because I mean, it's, I mean, they're pretty sick. You know what I mean? You get better like traction and all that good stuff. So they're, they're gonna, it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna work on getting this all cleaned up, start wire wheeling it, take everything off that I'm not gonna use. Cause I believe these lower control arms with the spring buckets stay. I don't think anyone makes any aftermarket control arms yet. So we'll see what I can find on that and then uh, go from there. And then the rear calipers, I'm not sure what I'm gonna run, whether it's the Cobra rear calibers, which doesn't really matter because they're just a single piston, kind of just like the regular GT ones. Um, I do know, I think that the Taurus ones I've heard, they bolt the same way and they're just better calibers. So we'll see about that. Um, yeah, so we also just got to see what the dual caliper set is set up for. Um, got to get different gears because I think we looked it up and I believe these are 327s in here, which is not enough for what I want at least with running the four cylinder in the Fox body and stuff like you want a higher gear ratio and stuff. So I'll probably get some four tens for this just to kind of, you know, beef it up a little bit and go from there, you know, check the axles, check the boots, all the, all that. So this is out. That's cool. So I think I will probably get the Fox body in here to just kind of see what all I need to do to get it going. Um, like I said, I'm not going to drop this in there yet until I get the bushings and get the stuff to actually put it in correctly. So we'll see what's the, what's the next thing to do. I know y'all can't really see, but damn, this thing is dirty. Got pollen all over it. Mine is even worse. It almost looks gray. Got doodle -doo all over it. Ugh. So we're actually heading to the track this weekend. Uh, we're going to a couple buddies' gender reveals. Um, but two of my friends are having kids around about the same time. So we're doing like a double gender reveal and more, I don't want to say more importantly, but it's also going to be fun because Sandy is going to be drifting for the first time. So she's done it on the dirt and stuff like that. I'm actually going to get in the car right now. It's a little windy. I don't know if y'all can tell, but uh, she's done some stuff 
on the dirt and the mud and like done a couple donuts and stuff, which is cool. Um, but I got her like eight tires to burn up. As you guys saw in the other video of this car, you know, I got her, uh, I put wheels on the car off my buddy's E36. So just to kind of dress it up a little bit, but we're going to get her all going, got her a helmet, stuff like that so that she can, uh, really get the feel of it. Um, but it's going to be her first time actually like trying donuts and figure eights and stuff and uh on pavement which is going to be cool so i'm very excited she's excited she's nervous but she's excited too um so i'm excited to see her I'm, I'm like really pumped up about it so we got the truck all hooked up to the trailer got probably way too many tires than we need because it might rain a little bit i'm hoping it doesn't but it might rain a little bit um but it's a bunch of friends. It's a private day at the track and kind of like what we did last time with my buddy when I let Wes drive my car. Um, Wes is actually bringing his GT. Uh, it's the first time he's, you know, driven that on the track. He's been driving it on the street, which is fine and getting the feel of it. But we put the cut knuckles and all that stuff back on the GT. So it's gonna be a good time. So I am about to take this thing, go give it a wash, load it in the trailer. And then I'm gonna take that thing give it a wash and load it in a trailer. So let's get these things washed and in the trailer. All right, one down, another one to go. Still got this dirty ass thing over here. We actually, like I said, brought, I think entirely too many tires. I mean, if you look right here, <laughs> these are BMW wheels, these are BMW wheels and the rest are all like Mustang wheels and stuff. And I'm gonna actually have a bunch of wheels in here for Wes's car because he brought like 16 wheels. We're, my buddy rented the track for like 12 hours straight. So we're literally getting there and starting to drive at 10 a.m. and not driving or not stopping till 10 p.m. So, but let's get this damn thing washed and get going so that we can get on the road. Are you sleepy yet? No. Um, you excited? I got monster. I got a fucking race car. I got injuries. Injuries? Injuries. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm full of fucking injury right now. Ah, monster, monster, and in monster injuries. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we had to do some tires for Braxton, but I wanted to show you guys this. Be careful who the hell you take your tires to, because they might not take everything out of the wheel. There's two freaking valve stems in this damn thing. Two freaking valve stems in that thing, dude. Like they didn't even try to fucking get them out at all. They say, tire's too hard, I can't fucking get the valve stem out, so I'm gonna pop in a new valve stem for you. Here you go, get down the road. Oh, your tire's off balance, oh, I can't help it. See you later, bye. <laughs> That's probably exactly what they did. So, but we're gonna get these tires off, get the new ones on, get loaded up, and then get on the road because we're trying to get up there tonight so that we could get all set up and all that good stuff. So we're gonna get these mounted and hopefully get on the road here soon. What did y'all do to this man last night? God damn, you still <laughs> That's not good. Alright guys, so we did a couple laps, but um, it didn't really go as planned. We made it out to the track and I got a couple in. And uh, you can't really see it now, but see that one over there? Let me just show you something real quick. That's not good. That's not supposed to be in there. Uh -uh. That's supposed to be down there. Yeah, and it's down there, and it's real far down there. Yeah. It's all over the side. I think I windowed it, <clears throat> but I don't see it. So that's not good one bit. So, and of course, I just signed up for two events. So this kind of sucks. 
but I got another motor. Hopefully it's good enough to put in there and keep going. So, but we got Sandy's car and Sarah's car out here. So I'll take some laps in this. I'm gonna get her. So I guess it'll be more focused around her than anything else. And also we got the gender reveal going on. So we're here, it's gonna be good. Uh, but this sucks because we literally got Hyperfest in like two weeks, three weeks, something like that. So it kind of, it, it sucks, but it is what it is. So hopefully I can get the other motor in there and it'd be good and at least last me because I mean this motor owes me nothing it was probably I don't know it's been like four or five years you know what I mean this is the motor that's been in the car sorry I just ate so like I'm hiccupy and I'm gassy and I'm maybe hacking and whatever but I don't know it sucks but like I keep saying it, it is what it is so we'll get it loaded up get it to the shop get the motor pulled out get the other one pulled and hopefully be good to go so we'll go uh we'll get some laps in Sandy's car and She'll get some laps and probably just, you know, we're gonna make the best of today. So let's go, uh, let's go have some fun. <laughs> Yay! Hey, Stan's cars ain't got shit on him. His wheels weren't even sp spinning. Hey, oh, hot lap felt too good. <laughs> so like, oh, I'm coming up the wall. Let's go. And that's just a bink. Yeah. Bink. That... Oh my god. Hey, good thing Ooh. you got another car. Yeah. Fuck yeah. You know. You think that's a TO? Nah, we can fix that. I mean, it's not good, yeah. but it's not bad. Yeah. I've seen worse. It sucks you right in. Yeah. 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 They were ass offset anyways. So, terrible fitment. You gotta run a spacer for them, but they are expensive. But yeah, damn. <laughs> Right, guys so like you saw my motor unfortunately took a shit um so we're back at the shop now we're assessing the motor that we're about to pull out for my car and i'm hoping that it's gonna be a lot better actually a lot more horsepower i'll just say that so check out the next video because uh we're gonna be pulling it out of this parts car putting it in mine and uh get ready for hyperfest because we got about two weeks so Sorry it's taken me a couple days to post a video. I've just been kind of bummed out, to be honest with you, since my motor blew up. So, But if you guys could like this video, you know, subscribe for more and uh, comment, dude, because uh, some things are going to change here soon. And I'm excited, but right now I'm, I'm bummed. So 
but yeah so i'll see you guys in the next one see ya